In this video, we will set up the environment for Solidity programming language and create our first basic project in Solidity. In the last video, we discussed what dApps are and how Solidity is used creating deep dApps. In this video, we will set up a basic environment to develop dApps using Solidity programming language. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a full stack blockchain developer. And here in this series of tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can develop your own dApps using Solidity programming language on Ethereum blockchain. So if you are here to learn Solidity programming language, I would highly recommend you. You can hit the subscribe button down there. So you will get all the data on Solidity programming language and other blockchain related videos on your feed. And I would also request you to share this video to all other blockchain and web development enthusiasts who can learn from my videos and it will help me to grow as a YouTuber as well. So first let's talk about what dApps are made up of. So basically dApps consist of smart contracts. So what are smart contracts? Smart contracts are basically a piece of code that runs on the Ethereum blockchain and runs when a particular condition is met. These conditions are defined in the code itself. There is a very famous example to understand the smart contracts and that is vending machine. So in a vending machine, when you put some money and do a selection of the item, then only you get the item from that machine. So when the conditions are met, the code is executed. So here you have to keep in mind that anyone can write a smart contract and deploy it to the network. You just need to learn how to code in the smart contract language and have enough Ethereum to deploy your contract on the Ethereum platform. Deploying a smart contract is technically a transaction. So you need to pay a gas in the same way that you need to pay the gas as a simple Ethereum transaction. And the gas cost for the contract deployment are far higher. So let's write down our first smart contract. For that, we will need two things, an environment or a setup where we can develop our smart contract and a dummy to blockchain where we can deploy our smart contract and test. We will be using Truffle for the environment and the Ganache for the local blockchain setup. Both comes under the same Truffle suit and I will share the links of Truffle suit from where you can download it. So this is the truffle suit which I was talking about. So here you can read that these are the sweet tools for smart contracts. So this whole truffle suit consists of truffle, ganache and drizzle. And for now we will start with the truffle and ganache. So here you can read that the truffle is smart contract environment and the ganache is one click blockchain. So basically truffle you will need to create a smart contract and ganache you will be needing for set up a local blockchain where you can deploy your smart contracts and test it out so first let's install the truffle and make a basic smart contract for ourselves so let's now install the truffle in our local environment so we are going to install truffle using npm so i can simply npm install truffle and i will use a global flag for that so it will install the truffle globally and from global, I can use this as a command line tool. So now this truffle will contain my Solidity programming language as well. That will support me to build different Solidity or smart contracts. And truffle will all also include the testing module in your smart contracts. Anything in the smart contracts will be immutable once it is deployed. So it is very important for you to test everything before deploying it. This will surely gonna take some time. And now you can see here, like I have installed the Truffle 5.5, which is the latest Truffle version. So let me run some command to make sure Truffle is installed. So for that, I'm gonna run Truffle version. So this Truffle version will give me the latest installed Truffle version, Ganache version, and the Solidity version, along with Web3 and Node.js version. So here you can see which are the versions is currently installed on my local. Now let's try to create a basic smart contracts using this truffle. So using truffle, either you can uh, install a full fledged smart contracts that is deployed by some other developers on the truffle server, or else you can simply just start your own smart contract with a basic structure. So for that, we are going to use truffle init command. So I have already created an empty directory. So I'm going to get into that my smart contract and inside this, I'm going to run truffle init command. So once I will run this, this will create a basic folder structure for my smart contract. So let me open this in my VS code. So here you can see the basic smart contracts folder will contain three folders and a configuration file. So in this con truffle configuration file, you will have a different configuration for your connection and uh, 
testing and compiling for now you just have to worry about the compiler solidity version which is 0.8.13 so let's look into the other folders in the project so first is the next contract so this is basically the main smart contract which we are going to use so i i will just give you a basic overview of the whole smart contract over here so as i am using node 14 so there will be some version mismatch there is possibility you will also get these errors so as you read these errors this will say that there is a mismatch of versions so all you have to do match the version according to this we have this 17 so it should be 16 so here also you can see another error which says that it requires only one parameter so we will remove this next parameter and we will save it now we have this basic solidity smart contract so let's look into the other folders so these are the migrations which we are going to write so if you are familiar with some sql migrations these migrations are similar to that i will get into the detail of this migration in our coming videos for now just consider this as a incremental change log for the solidity for smart contracts now we have this test as name suggests we are going to keep all our test cases inside this so let's get back to the our solidity smart contract now let's try to create a simple basic solidity smart contract so this smart contract will a simplest form of smart contracts which will just have a content of my id and which will also have a function which will return that id so let's create a new file over here my id dot sol and uh, let's make this small d i have to copy these two lines to define the solidity version and then i'm going to define my contract so contract will contain my id so here you can see that the smart contracts are defined just simple as a class so now here first i will declare a my id so which will be u in 256 variable so let's make that u in 256 and that will be a public variable and name of the variable will be id and now i'm going to instantiate with the number 25 so now let's define the function so first for that first we have to define a function and the name of the function which will be uh, get id and the parameters will empty because we are not going to pass any parameter from here and now we have to define the type of the function which will be a public function and it's also a view function view function means you are not going to change any of the parameters of this smart contract inside this function you are just going to use that function and after this you have to define the return type as well so returns and uh, we in the bracket you have to define the treatment type and which will be a u in 265 because the number is also we are defining as a u in 256 and uh, inside this function you just have to simply return id and semicolons so this will make our basic smart contract in which we have defined this id and we are going to return that id from this method and now this is a time to deploy this smart contract on a blockchain and test it out so for that we will need a local blockchain environment as we already discussed we are going to use ganache for that so in order to download ganache you have to go to the ganache uh, web page and download a ganache set setup from there as i'm using a windows machine so i'm going to install a executable file from there and run that and set up on my local so here on the truffle suit you will get the ganache so from here i am going to download the ganache and install in it in my local machine you can do the same on your local machine to set up the one click blockchain once you install that ganache you can just simply open that by double clicking the executable file so once you install the ganache and open the ganache you will get this kind of ui over here there so you have to from here you have to click a new workspace this will create a workspace for you into which you can deploy your smart contracts and test it out for now we are not going to get into much detail of how ganache works and set it up for yourself you just have to simply give it the workspace name uh, there is a weird default name over here but we are going to replace it so i'm going to re rename this workspace as code with camera and i'm going to save this workspace so here once you save the workspace you will get that we have this local blockchain running 
so in this we can you can see we have this 10 different blocks and each in each blocks we have this balance of 100 ethereum so you have to keep in mind this ethereum is not an actual ETH. so you just can't sell it it on a binance so you just you have to use this local branch as a test environment and test your solidity programs so in a later videos i'm going to get in the details of this ganache how you can make custom settings inside this but for now let's get back to our smart contract and let like try to deploy that so all you have to just note it down is rpc server so this is where your local blockchain is running 7545 so going back to your smart contract you have to check your truffle configuration so here once you go to network you will see that you have this deployment and like commented out so you have to uncomment this and here you have to mention the network port so which was 7545 so for development we are going to set it up for now and later on we are going to look into the production and things and now you have to just make sure that in the migrations instead of in requiring this migration the smart contract you have to your install your own smart contract so that will be my id and this i can just simply copy paste here and here so when i'm going to migrate this smart contract to the blockchain this particular function will run and deploy my my id smart contract onto the blockchain let's do that over here so first we are going to compile our smart contract so for that we are going to use truffle compile so here you can see our simplest smart contract we are able to compile that so now we are going to migrate this solidity smart contract into the smart uh, local blockchain so for that we are going to use truffle migrate sorry about the spelling truffle migrate so once i run this this will automatically migrate my smart contracts to the blockchain so here you can see both the contracts are compiled and it is migrating the uh, my id to the blockchain so my first simplest smart contract is deployed to the blockchain and here you can see that the final cost of deploying this is 0.024374 ethereum so now in order to interact with our smart contract we are going to use the console of the truffle and to get into that we are going to use a command truffle console this will enter us in the console and in the console you can simply get your smart contracts so in order to get the smart contract you have to write let uh, my smart contract and this will be variable which will contain your smart contracts and you have to write the await and here you have to define the name of your smart contract which will be my id and after that you have to write dot deployed and deployed will be a function which will return the, your smart contract instance so if here if you are going to write this my smart contract this will show you the whole smart contract so here in the smart contract you can see we have this default values and in the inside this methods you can see we have our method of get id as well so let's try to get the my id value inside a variable name as my id and i'm going to call our smart contract and smart contract will be my smart contract this is the variable which you use to store the smart contract and dot get id is our method we are going to simply call this method and remember you have to convert this to a number so you have to use this two number method so you can see that 25 is written from this method which is the actual value of my id so this is how we are going to write a simplest form of smart contract and later on we are going to make changes in this smart contract and create some more complex smart contract out of it i hope it, this video helped you to understand the concept of how you can set up a local environment for solidity programming language and how you can develop your own smart contract and uh, also you learned about how you can deploy your own local blockchain in your local machine so that you can do a test and a development on that particular blockchain thanks everyone for watching our whole of the video happy coding everyone see you in the next video